Hello, my name is Rex. Um, I want to show you what I'm doing. I got an 04 Explorer with a 4 liter engine. I'm working on the timing chains, cassettes, and guides, and tensioner, all of the above. Anyway, I want to show you how to time the engine and how I did it without purchasing the special tools needed or required. So they say by the Ford dealer. Anyway, I'll start with um, the crankshaft. Right here, you got the keyway. And the keyway is at 12 o'clock. That puts you at top dead center. Number one piston to the top. And if you're confused or you're not sure, you want to double check, your number one piston is right here, first one. So what you can do, if the head's on, you can take the spark plug out and stick something down in the cylinder. Um, and you can spin the motor until the number one piston comes to the top. Now your number one piston's at the top, you'll be top dead center and your keyway will be at 12 o'clock. Now, you also have a little balance shaft down here. Um, I don't know if you can see down in here or not, but you have two marks on the sprocket. It's right in between, there's two, and there, you, there's a little slot here in the um, engine block where you can, it looks like a bolt hole, you can put like a pin or a nail or something in there and hold it into place. Now, if your heads are on and your cams are in, you do not want to rotate the motor and bend valves. So if your chain's on and you want to put this at 12 o'clock and time your cams, you want to spin this, but you want to make sure your cams aren't in and your valves aren't compressed down to where they can contact the pistons. You want to spin this. It'll spin several times before these marks here line up into the correct spot. So anyway, if you want to do it without bending any valves, you can always just remove the camshafts. Then the springs won't be pressed down. And any of the lobes on the cams won't press any of the valves down to where the pistons can contact. Anyway, all right, you got your um, crankshaft keyways at 12 o'clock. Your balance shaft timed correctly. Now, this is your jack shaft sprocket. It does not have marks. Now, up here is the camshaft. This is a camshaft sprocket on the left head. It doesn't have any marks. They do not put marks on these. This is the left cassette. Now, the way you time the camshaft is... There's a special tool required, but if you don't have the tool and you don't want to spend $300 and use the tool one time, you can do something like I did. Now, the way you time it is the back of the camshaft. There's slots in the back of the cam, as you can see right here. Now, see how it's offset? Now, you want the smaller side on the bottom. If you have the special tool, that's the only way it would go in there. The smaller side goes on the bottom. Now, what I did is I used an Allen wrench and a socket, and it sits flush with the valve cover matting surface here. And it's actually holding it in. You don't want your camshaft to spin when you're trying to time it. It'll get out of place or it'll pop on you just from the, the springs, the valve springs. Anyway, I'll show you the other side here. Now this is the rear cassette right here. And that's the sprocket for the right head. No marks, like I said, you time them by the backs of the cams. Right here, see, smaller sides on the bottom sitting flush here. I use the Allen key just to hold it in place. That's all the special tool does is basically hold it to where it doesn't spin. So that's that. Come around here and take another look. Mine's ready to go back together. It's all timed and I hope this helps someone. Thanks again. My name is Rex.